One of the new features available within Next version 1.5 is the ability to enable symmetry. Symmetry will allow you to work and make edits on one side of your mesh while having those changes automatically reflect on the opposite side. So in order to enable symmetry, just switch to edge mode and select any edge or edge loop along the middle here and just toggle symmetry within the next panel. Once you've enabled symmetry, you'll notice that your components are highlighted in blue as opposed to the typical green and uh, any changes or selections that you make on one side will automatically apply to both sides. So here I just made a marquee selection but I can also go over here and just hold control shift or shift and add uh, selections and you'll see that it automatically applies to both sides. You'll also notice that the manipulator is only centered on one side of your mesh. So to help illustrate this if I grab a chunk of his uh, thumb there you notice that the manipulator is not centered in the middle of the mesh, it's actually just on one side. But if you want to start editing on this side, you just add your, to your selection or subtract to your selection or just any, make any uh, changes to your selection on that side and then it automatically will jump to that side. Um, of course, with the, any of the manipulators, you're going to want to be able to make edits. So here you'll notice that I can just make some selections and here I can just add to that using the Raycast selection tool, holding tab and left click dragging and tapping the B key and you'll see that I can use soft selection with symmetry. You'll notice that I can pull on the mesh and it will still preserve that symmetry line. So you can see that that line is, is, going, to be is going to be stuck there even with soft selection. So I can even expand it even further and you can see that it still tries to preserve that center line. So I can go over here and uh, shrink my selection a little bit there and just doing that by holding B and left click dragging and I can uh, just adjust its cheeks a little bit make them with a little smile and here I'm just going to toggle off B and show you that uh, on this portion of his head we have this horn that's sort of been bent out and uh, in order to fix that I just make a selection around that and holding down uh, W E or R the transform hotkeys you can left click drag and enable symmetrize. This will basically reposition uh, that portion or that selection to match the corresponding uh, selection on the other side. So if I undo that and this time select that and enable symmetrize you'll notice that it will match that to the other side too. So you can go either way with that. A couple other interesting points of interest with the next symmetry function is that you can actually use it on a mesh that's not completely symmetrical. So here we have that same character that's been posed and if we look at it in other perspectives you'll know that it's not perfectly symmetrical uh, transformationally but the actual mesh topology is symmetrical. So we can still use that same workflow to enable symmetry. Uh, just selecting an edge down the middle there and enabling symmetry. And you'll notice that all the selection functions still work. So here I can just use my uh, Raycast selection and um, I'll go ahead and just add to that on this side and you'll see that both the uh, selection on each of the foots or each of the toes have been uh, reflected on both sides. Uh, now obviously they're not in the same position but again because it's based off topology it still works. And since we have a selection all of your functions with, uh, within Maya with respect to any of these commands will actually work as well. So I can just apply a smooth and you'll see that even after I've applied the smooth the symmetry is still still active. So you know anything from like smooth, extrude, or or bevel, all the main commands within Maya will still apply. Um, some of the functions within Maya like the uh, split polygon tool which is based off more of a, a pick type selection uh, is not going to work with the next symmetry so what you'll want to do in there is actually use the next cut tool. So it's the same exact node, it works exactly the same except it actually respects symmetry. And so for this I'm actually just going to make a, a few cuts here and you'll see that uh, it's automatically applied to both sides and if I make any changes it's automatically applying to both sides as well. And if I just right click it enables that. And if I switch out of shaded mode or texture mode and go into shaded mode you'll see that change uh, applied on both sides. So if I make another cut you'll see that that also is applied. Oh, <laughs>